Hello, my name is Dr. Rodriguez. I am a science professor. STEAM is an educational movement that combines science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. On the iSTEAM channel, we will introduce STEAM fields as access points for experiential learning, inquiry, and critical thinking. Today's episode, antibiotics and antiseptics. One way to control bacterial growth, especially pathogenic bacteria, is by the use of antibiotics and antiseptics. An antibiotic, from the word anti or against, and biotic life, is usually an organic compound produced by another microorganism, like a mold. This naturally produced organic compound inhibits the growth of or destroys other microorganisms. On the other hand, an antiseptic, septic from putrefaction, is usually an inorganic compound that can inhibit the growth of or destroy microorganisms. Examples of antibiotics include penicillin, produced from the blue mold penicillin, streptomycin, produced from the soil bacteria streptomyces, and erythromycin, also produced from the soil bacteria streptomyces. Examples of antiseptics include iodine, hydrogen peroxide, bleach, and alcohol. In this experiment, a coccus bacteria, Micrococcus luteus, a yellow colony, is inoculated into a nutrient agar plate on top of the agar. Diffusion into the agar of antiseptic and antibiotics from the test material placed on the agar surface prevent the growth of Micrococcus luteus and produce a clear zone of inhibition around some of the test material. Procedure. Use a petri dish that has sterile nutrient agar. Keep it sterile by not lifting the cover. Turn the petri dish upside down and with a marker divided in four quadrants. Label each quadrant with the test material to be used. Return the petri dish to its upside position. Using a sterile cotton swab, collect a bacteria from the Micrococcus luteus culture tube. Gently streak the entire surface of the plate, horizontally, vertically, and around the edges. Place three test material on the agar surface. The test material should be well placed from one another, each position on one fourth of the surface. Using sterile technique, dispense one penicillin disc into the surface of one wedge. Use a flame forcep to handle penicillin disc. In order to apply the two antiseptic of your choice to the next two wedges, use flame forcep to transfer a paper disc soaked in the antiseptic of choice, alcohol, iodine, bleach, or mouthwash. Record which antiseptic you choose on both the plate and the table. Use a flame forcep to place a blank disc on the remaining wedge of the plate. This area will serve as the control for the experiment. Secure the cover of the Petri dish with two pieces of tape. Turn the Petri dish upside down to prevent condensation running over the agar surface. Store the Petri dish in the incubator. Keep the Petri dish upside down and horizontal. After getting your culture back, Label the materials you place on the agar and the result after one week. Use stippling or drawing using small dots to show where the yellow bacteria colonies have grown. Explain your results. I hope this presentation was insightful. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy learning about STEAM. Please also share this channel with someone you think can benefit from or will enjoy the presentation of the iSteam channel. Hope to see you soon.